I made a decision right then on I'm never eating animals, seeing what it does to people, seeing professional athletes being on plant-based and doing their stuff at the elite level. And I'm an amateur. If they can do it at an elite level, why can't, why can I not survive being who I am? So me going vegan over five years now, it's five years, um, late February. So uh, Belle went vegetarian the, a year before. We watched Earthlings together. Mm. She's bawling her eyes out. She said, I can never eat animals. So she went vegetarian. So I grew up in West Africa, Mali, where I've seen people sacrifice cow, sheep, and even was part of holding the legs for it to happen as a child. They make you do that. And you're basically forced into this culture of meat eating without even having a choice to. And that didn't do anything to me watching Earthlings. And then when I went back to look at it, I'm like, man, I was sick to, to watch this and not change my last. I was even sad watching it. But fast forward to a year later, she wanted me to watch this documentary called Forks Over Knives. So I said, let's just do it. I got to start listening to her because every time I listen to do something, it ends up being amazing. And uh, we watch it with, a, with, with- Why is that? I don't know. She's just amazing. Uh -huh. She's incredible. So 20 minutes into Forks Over Knives, I remember this vividly. I looked at her with my mouth dropped. She goes, are you okay? I said, I don't think I'm okay because I don't think I could ever eat meat for the rest of my life, but I'm scared. I don't know what to eat. And she said, don't worry about it. We'll figure it out. So we went vegan together, cold turkey. So I made a decision right then on I'm never eating animals, seeing what it does to people seeing professional athletes being on plant-based and doing their stuff at the elite level. And I'm an amateur. If they can do it at an elite level, why can not Why can I not survive being who I am and not eat animal? So I became vegan for selfish reason. Mm. And um, now it's more than that. It's more ethical for me too as well. So it's, I'm glad it took that for me to realize what's happening in the world, even our climate, whatever. But the only thing I regret about going vegan, being plant-based is I didn't do it soon enough. Mm. That's the only thing. Yeah, it's interesting. So yeah. you were doing it before the run streak. Yeah, the run when streak. When you were still yeah. in the professional soccer world. Yeah, I, was, I actually, when I, right when I turned vegan, I went to play in Oklahoma City for the Oklahoma City Energy. They're in the USL, um, the lower division, just the division below MLS. And I got there, I used to get kicked out of practice. I'm not kidding you. Whoa. I had this energy that my body just started feeling and I just couldn't explain it. And my teammate would look at me, are you crazy, Hella, what's going on? With you, I remember one game at the locker room, uh, ha half time, one of our teammates goes, if you come in this locker room, you don't feel like you haven't left everything on the field, you're not exhausted, that means you didn't play. So I humbly raised my hand. I said, I disagree with that because every game I've been giving all my all, but I still feel like I can play a second game. That's how much energy my body just felt. So just because I don't feel tired doesn't mean I didn't leave it all out on the field. And I used to, that energy, the. It was just people, and I started convincing my teammates to go plant-based. They're like, how did you do this? I said, I just don't eat animal. My recovery time is quicker and things like that. And I can feel it. How, how yeah. long before you had that experience? It, it was after like- making the switch. I switched um, a month later. I went to Oklahoma to play. It was like about a month later. Wow. Yeah, literally switch in February, all March. And it was 1st of April, I was in Oklahoma. So recovery times are better, Quicker. not running out of energy, yeah. not not like petering out yeah. in the fourth quarter, or second, late second half or whatever. Being young, we would be up to two, three in the morning. We wake up, everybody's exhausted. Like, I don't know how we're gonna survive practice. I'm like, I feel like I got enough rest. And then when I started seeing them, I'm like, why? I think it's my diet, it has to be. Mm. Cause I was a big chicken person. In fact, I'd have leftover chicken from night and eat it as breakfast at morning, like eight, nine uh -huh. in the morning, which is really- They want to kick you out of practice. I, yeah, my so coach- my coach would be like, hey, Hella, <laughs> you're done for the day. Cause the second team that doesn't play a lot, they practice longer to get more fitness and game underneath them. Oh, cause I would, you had to play, he didn't want to burn you out. Yeah, that's why I got kicked out of practice. So I would go join them to do extra practice. And my coach would, or like a, a easy day where we don't play much and I want to stay long. He's like, Hella, you're done. Mm. You have a game in two days and I want to stay, but I always get kicked out. Cause I had that energy with me. Um, I think because of, yeah. Plant-based. Do you know this soccer agent called Darren Flickcroft? Heard of him. Heard yeah, of him. yeah, he's a yeah. friend of mine, but oh, he's really? super plant-based. Oh, wow. And That's he's cool. a, you know, he's a big mucky muck in the yeah. soccer agenting world yeah. or whatever, but he's like gung-ho plant-based yeah. guy. And a fun fact actually. So my neighbor, uh, Samuel and uh, his girlfriend, Roberta Groner, who's actually was ranked in Doha for six, for marathon as he was ranked six in the world. Wow. So they saw, I kind of started telling them about the, the whole vegan thing, thing. So they surprised me with your book, Plant Power. Oh, cool. Yeah, so I was literally consuming your book. Oh, good. Before the Transcontinental. Uh, that makes me feel yeah, good. Yeah, I have your book at home. So <laughs> they give it to me as a gift. I don't know if it was for my birthday last mm. November, but it was 
I, they say, here's a book. I was like, oh, Rituals Plus. I, I didn't know you had that book. So superfood. So I, there's a chapter with the superfoods. So I was just saying, okay, hello, you're training to run across the country now. Yes, you're vegan. So now let's add more superfoods because now you wanna be, you're doing something that your body is not used to. So I need the food. So again, thank you for you're very having welcome. that out there no, for I'm, all I'm the plant-based people I out there. I'm glad that I was able to yeah. contribute some small yeah. thing to this from, from yeah. afar. 